we have Rhonda, Spain, Sierra de los Nieves Natural Park, Puerto Nuevo, Guadalavan River, and the El Tahoe Canyon. <clears throat> As I said before, one of our excursions was to Rhonda in southern Spain. And we were driving through the mountains with such breathtaking views. And we ended up at Rhonda, and that is situated in the Sierra de las Nieves Natural Park. It is located on top of, of limestone cliffs, and they are 2,460 feet above sea level and there are spectacular views all the way around. Now the most striking feature in Rhonda is the Puente Nuevo or the new bridge. It took 42 years to build starting in 1751 and completed in 1793. The bridge towers over 390 feet over the Guad Levin River in the El Tajo Canyon and joins the old city to the new city. When I saw this magnificent old bridge, I just wanted to stop the complete tour and paint on the spot, but unfortunately for me, it wasn't allowed, but then what could I expect? We were there to see other things um, in the town and whatnot. But anyhow, not to be deterred, Nothing stopped me from doing this painting when I returned home in Canada. Now, when I look at this finished bridge, I didn't notice this when I first painted it, but once you got the shadows here of the uh, distance in behind, it looks to me like two big eyes, a very long nose, and a mouth drinking the water from the river. Even though the river flew the other way, there's also a very, very, very steep drop in here. I kind of angled it a wee bit just because I didn't want it to just be totally center in the painting. <clears throat> also take the time to look at all of the different shades in here. Um, the sun had bleached out all of this to a, a pale gray. The rocks were all pale gray. The leaves were all bleached out. And so I'm using my artistic license to strengthen the colors. There were so many beautiful buildings that could have been painted in Rhonda, and it would make a lovely 10-day painting workshop destination. I may never get back there, but I thoroughly enjoyed, or I should say, I thoroughly enjoyed my memories of that day and the fun we had. Now you can make your own memories by painting an image with architecture. In your sketchbook, make notes of the warmth or cold on your skin, what you can smell here and how it makes you feel and what you ate and had to drink. These notes will help go back to the impression of the location when you look at it and you will be really surprised at how vivid your sketches become by doing this. So I hope you enjoy this. I do have several other destinations in Spain that we went to. I may or may not do um, a video on them because I didn't do paintings, but I do have a lot of very nice pen and ink sketches on that. My travel paintings, and if you want a next one, my next video will be of the Pioneer Tower along the Grand River in Ontario. I'm coming back to Canada, and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. God bless. Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis, and I wanted to talk to you about going to Spain in 2011. A group of us decided to take an extended holiday and we went with Seniors Travel Canada. It was a one month trip and we went there, we stayed in the same hotel every night, woke up in the same bed every morning and had several days in the plan to um, go on day tours. The one day we went to Rhonda in Spain. And I am going to turn the camera around, but I just wanted to show you a pen sketch that I did of a house that was on the hillside of Rhonda. And this is what it looks like. Now, you can do sketches in your sketchbook, and if you look at the um, 
Robert Bateman sketchbook. It has this pure white paper. So your, your pen and ink drawings really show up well with a little touch of graphite just to give some shapes that aren't quite as important as the drawing. Anyway, this is the start. Um, and for those of you who don't understand my Spanish, I've given you a cheat sheet because I'm going to talk about the actual names in Spanish of what we saw in Rhonda. Okay?